ice cubes. Mm. Oh, hi there, little lemurs. Hey, uh, stop, you two little gluttons. <laughs> this is my watermelon. Come down, you two. We can share it. Here's a piece for you, and one for you, and the last piece is mine. <laughs> oh, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> Here on the moon, I can eat my watermelon. Oh boy, oh boy. You two are such troublemakers. Hello there, kids. Having a disagreement? Thank you, Mrs. Comet. My lemur pals wanted to eat all of my watermelon. But this time, I got away from those two little gluttons. Woo -hoo -hoo! <gasps> hey, my watermelon is totally frozen. That's normal. We are very far from the sun here. I can't eat my watermelon like this. Can we turn around, please? I'm sorry, but I must continue my trip. I'll find another comet to take me back towards the sun. I'll wait for it here on this big ice cube. See you, Mrs. Comet. Oh, hello there, young visitor. Oh, hello, my name is Little Malabar. And you, what's your name? I am Hydra, and those are my friends. Cabaros, Nicks, and Sticks. <laughs> you have funny names for big ice cubes. Oh, but we are not simple ice cubes. We are four ice moons. You mean you turn around a planet? We actually turn around two little planets. Two planets at the same time? Two dwarf planets. Pluto and Sherry. Wow. Yes, but they never, ever pay attention to us. They are always arguing amongst themselves. That's tiring. I've told you a million times, I am not turning around you. You are turning around me. You are so wrong, Sharon. You are smaller than I am, so it's you who is turning around me. I am the planet, and you are my moon. But you're turning around me, too, so there's no reason I should be the moon. Pluto and Sharon, please stop arguing. Neither one of you is a moon. You are two planets that turn together, like in a space wall. I guess I never thought of it like that. A waltz? That's charming. I really like that idea. Argument over. Pluto and Sharon are pals again. Let's dance a waltz together. Let's turn. But it is you who is turning around me. No, you are turning around me. Oh, my, oh, my. You see, you started again. There they go again. They can get very... Very tiring. Let's go, Lemuri Force. Lemuri what? <laughs> Oh, they are so cute. Hey, where are they going? And what are all those ice cubes turning around us? Those are moons. You are two little dwarf planets, but you have four little ice moons. So you can stop arguing now. You hear that, Sharon? Those are our moons. And we have four moons. Hey there, kiddos. Who wants to fly by the sun with me? I do. It's time to go home. See you all later. See you later, little Malabar, and thank you. We, we promise, promise no more arguing. Mmm, ah, I'm so hungry. <laughs> you two are even more silly than Pluto and Sharon. Okay, eat all the watermelon. I think I'd rather eat a banana. Pluto and Sharon are two small dwarf planets. They turn around each other very far off in our solar system. They have four little ice moons that orbit around them. The Ladies of Ice. I finished! Introducing the super cute lemur snowman! Do you like it, little lemur? <laughs> Son, could you please turn down your heat, pretty please? My lemur snowman is melting. Sorry about that, little Malabar, but I'm a star, and so I heat everything around me. I have an idea, little lemur. Let's move our snow lemur really far from the sun. <laughs> Take your snow lemur to the Kuiper Belt. It's so far away from me that it's very cold there. Great idea! Let's go! <laughs> Can you tell me where to find the Kuiper Belt? Yes, I can. I'm going there now. Hop on. I'll take you with me. Thank you, Mrs. Comet. <laughs> There's Neptune.
to. And after that, we'll arrive at the Kuiper Belt. You've arrived now. I have further to go. Have a nice flight, Mrs. Comet. Whoa, it's slippery here. Hmm? What is that funny little thing there? That's the nose of our cute snow lemur. And you, who are you? My name is Haumea. I am one of the largest ice planets in the Kuiper Belt. Wow! Our cute snow lemur will be very happy in this belt of icy planets. It's far from the sun and very cold. Uh, where'd our snow lemur go? He needs his nose! He's over there! Come on, let's go get him! But you're not our snow lemur at all. No, we're not. We're called Arakov. We're an ice formation. You're not one, you're two. We used to be two ice formations, but we came together all by ourselves. We have fused, fused into, into one. one. Fused into one? How did you do that? By turning very slowly. Just like those two there. You see them? Oh, they're going to hug each other. <laughs> they did it! <laughs> We're turning and turning. Whoa, little lemur, did it make you dizzy? I'll give you a real big hug to make you feel all better. Oh, our snow lemur's up there. Good eye, little lemur. Let's give him his nose back. Mission accomplished. Now we can go back home to Earth. The Earth is that planet close to the sun, isn't it? Oh, I always wanted to take a trip there and see it. Hold on tight. I'll send you there. See you later, Carpet Belt and all you nice ice planets. Take good care of our snow lemur. We promise we will, little Malabar. Yippee! I've become a comet. Let's take a trip through space. Yum! We really deserve this ice cream, little lemur. But we mustn't let it melt. We learned our lesson. <laughs> the Kuiper Belt rotates around and far from the sun. It's an immense ring of rocks and ice formations. Sometimes the ice fuses together and looks like a snowman. Earth as a snowball. And to finish my fruit juice, a lot of ice cubes so it'll be real cold. <laughs> Ah, oh, Otter, you turned my cooler into a swimming pool. <laughs> Where in the world will I find some ice cubes for my fruit juice now? <laughs> what? You know, little Malabar, a long time ago it was easy to find ice cubes on planet Earth. <laughs> it used to be entirely covered with snow and ice. Oh, uh, but how is that possible? <gasps> oh, yes, Otter, I also want to see the Earth when it looked like a snowball. Hey, Earth. Tell your story to these two ice cube hunters. Oh, sure. Ready for the big chill? Hang on tight. And this is how everything began. Whoa, it's super hot here. Phew, and who's making all this smoke? It's us, the volcanoes. A very long time ago, there were lots of us here on Earth, and we spit out a whole lot of smoke. Thanks to us, Earth was covered with a large blanket of very warm clouds. Phew. We'll never find ice cubes under these clouds. No, 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 no. Be patient. No, 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 no. We will eat up this blanket of smoke. <laughs> but who are you? We are bacteria. And we breathe in the volcano clouds and then breathe out clouds of fresh air. Hmm, thank you, bacteria. We can breathe better now. And it's also not as hot now, thanks to you. That's right. Little by little, I lost my thick blanket of hot clouds, and I began to very slowly cool down. Wow, it's all frozen there on the North Pole. Come, Otter, let's go get some ice cubes. <laughs> oh, the South Pole's become a big ice cube as well. Should we go this way or that way? No need to go anywhere. The ice cubes will find their way to you. Without my blanket, I became colder and colder, and my icy poles got bigger and bigger, faster and faster. Yes. Even my rays bounced right off the white of your ice floes. I could no longer warm you up in the least. Wow! Look, Otter. It really is the land of ice cubes all over the Earth now. <laughs> ice cube mission accomplished. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow! You're beautiful, Earth. Snowy white. Thanks, little Malabar. That is how I became an enormous snowball. Oh. 
It's like a giant ice ring! <laughs> oh. 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 You've come back again, Volcanoes? <laughs> but we never really left. We were simply concealed underneath the ice. It's time to reheat the Earth with a new blanket of warm clouds. <laughs> so, with the help of the volcanoes, the ice melted and my temperature became much milder. <gasps> <laughs> then, thanks to bacteria, the air became more breathable. <laughs> and then life, both plant and animal, began to appear. Wow! Oh, look, Otter! Our ice cooler! We've forgotten about it! Now it's neither too hot nor too cold, and there's nice, fresh air to breathe. Goodbye, everyone, and good job! <laughs> we can go back now. We deserve an ice-cold fruit juice. Dry daughter? Mmm, <laughs> deliciously ice-cold. It's a tropical juice. A long time ago, the Earth lost its blanket of warm clouds and became almost entirely covered with ice. Then the ice melted, and life was able to develop on its surface. 